So a few weeks ago, I was out in the yard cleaning up, and I ran across an old satellite dish, a big one meter dish that's uh, kind of just been in the way for years in my yard. And I asked myself, self, why is this still here? And I told myself, well, you wanted to make a radio telescope, but you've just never done anything with that project. And I was like, I either need to throw this thing out, or I need to do something. So I jumped online to see what it would take to actually just do something, do my project, and see where it goes from there. And a few years ago when I was looking at it, SDRs were cheap, but now they're like super cheap. So on eBay, I found this gym right here. I really don't know how good it is, but the key thing is it goes up to 1.7 gigahertz, which is more than 1.4 gigahertz, which is what where hydrogen line emissions are. Uh, so that's what I would like to try and make this first iteration of the project pick up. So this has a receiving range from 500 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. Um, so it's not just the RTL 2832U, it also includes the R820T2 receiver um, so you get a little wider range it also has a built-in bias t um, so it's it's a pretty cool little uh, sdr it's got a real wide range uh, it has 2.4 megahertz of is that right yeah 2.4 megahertz uh, stable receive and you can push it up to three and a half megahertz uh, sorry 3.2 megahertz so um, eventually I would like to experiment with a stationary array of antennas and just switch between antennas, have the whole thing mounted and maybe once an hour or once a minute or something along the line, those lines I'll have to just kind of play with it. Have an array of antennas and you just cycle through, boom, 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 and then air, you do that, you know hit each one for a minute or something. Once you've uh, recorded all your data, then you shut off maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour later, whatever it takes to make a decent, uh, or maybe just continue cycling, and depending on the power usage and all these things. Um, anyway, the idea would be I build an image by looking at this guy here, and then there, and then there, and then there, with no moving parts. Um, This is all I have so far. So, I mean, I've got the satellite dish, I've got this piece. Uh, we're gonna play around just making this thing work first. And then we'll build up to uh, some sort of antenna array. We'll start with just a satellite dish, but I'm gonna build up to an antenna array that probably won't use a satellite dish, just a bunch of feed horns, because I've got one dish that's the right size. Uh, anyway. That's the upcoming project. I hope you come back next time. Please, uh, if you're interested in this project, subscribe. Hit the bell so you can follow this project and get more notifications when it comes up. Uh, when I finish this and move on to something else and you find it to be the most boring thing in the world, I won't be the least bit offended if you unsubscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If not, you know what to do. Uh, if you hated it, there's a button for that too. Leave comments down below. I'm sure some of you have already played with this and have all kinds of information for me that I don't have. I'm completely new to SDR, so this is going to be a brand new exploration for me. And I look forward to uh, this journey, and I hope that uh, some of you can enjoy it too. Catch you next time. This is Joel, and I'll see you in the next video.